Now, for most people, completing one marathon is a pretty Herculean effort. But for Paralympian Richard Whitehead, it has become a gruelling daily event. The double-leg amputee who won gold in the 200 metres sprint last summer has spent more than five weeks completing a marathon a day as he attempts to run from John O'Groats to Land's End. Our sports reporter, Jordan Jarrett Bryan, himself an amputee, joined him at the start of his penultimate marathon in Truro in Cornwall. Another day, another marathon. So, Richard, marathon number 39, be honest with me, how does it feel? Yeah, I'm really exhausted, to be <laughs> honest. Um, it's great to have that kind of support at the start. Uh -huh. It really inspires you to keep going, but, um, yeah, it's been really tough. And what keeps you going? Uh, probably, uh, obviously, the thing that keeps me going is the, the support that I'm providing for the charities and the awareness for, for Paralympic sport. <laughs> And hopefully the people that are going to go on their journeys and uh, be successful in their own way. Australia has the lead. Winning gold in the T42 200 metres at last summer's Paralympics was a highlight of his own journey. But less than a year later, he was in need of a new challenge. 40 marathons in 40 days, starting in John O'Groats and finishing tomorrow in Land's End. For most people that are running, the able-bodied, they have pains in, the, in their joints, ankles, that sort of things. Yeah. For yourself, what is the equivalent? Of oh, the, of the hip pain? flexors and my hips and my lower back, and but also the mental uh, pressure of running marathon after marathon for 40 days is is as uh, bad as the, the physical side. And I think we've we've coped with that really well with having a, such a strong team around with it, me and being really focused on the goal, which is obviously getting to Land's End. But the physical challenges are considerable, as the man responsible for the maintenance of the prosthetics knows firsthand. You remember people who've done marathons before, some of the celebrities, where you've, you've had stories about blisters. It's absolutely been the same with, with the socket. You have to manage the skin, wear special sort of silicon impregnated socks that, that minimise blisters, and, and making sure the fit is as comfortable as possible. And, and like a good shoe, a good running shoe, a good walking shoe, if you have that right, then, then the rest is almost easy. But there are benefits. And was you aware that you were voted in a poll as the most sexiest Paralympian at the Games last year? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a bad boy. <laughs> and of course, the hundreds of thousands of pounds this endeavour will raise for the charity Scope and Sarcoma UK.